Uh, dude, how do I know you? Are you a war room guy or a better life guy? I'm a war room guy. You look like a fucking war room guy. Yeah, Dave's my old buddy. Yeah. I was his company commander at boot camp. You fucked up. You know that. What? How's that? I mean, he's not that disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> Look how you got nothing. You got nothing, no. bro. I love that. No, no. <laughs> uh, it's part of his his charm, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's very relatable. I imperfect. <laughs> yeah, perfectly imperfect. That's a really good way to put it. I guess when somebody is like kind of uh, as relatable as he is, that's that's good insight because, yeah, when somebody's that relatable, it's because usually people can see themselves in another person. Yeah, uh, Dave's great. I will never stop talking shit about him, but he is literally, he's been a dramatic force for good in my life. He is a force for good, and that's a, that's an awesome way to put it. He, I, I, uh, I deconstruct a lot of timelines and people in my life, and there's, for my wife, it's a series of people that lead to this guy named Sean Herrick, and it stops <clears throat> right there. And it came down to a casual conversation in UC Davis in 1998 or something like that that led to me meeting my wife. And I do believe that my entrepreneurial journey at this current moment in time I can't seem to go any further back than when Dave started his Facebook group, The Military Millionaire. And uh, that was the first time I was like, huh, real estate. I, I literally was like, mm, money, not just like a job job. And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. from there, it just, and, and now literally I'm just sitting here working for myself, just coming up with shit left and right, just doing stuff. And it's, it's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm supremely grateful to that guy and yourself, man. I listen to a lot of your guys' podcasts, so you probably get that quite a bit. I, I, uh, you know, I learned a lot by, by listening to uh, you and Dave. Yeah. I wish I could do more. Actually, I think what's going to happen is, uh, one day I'll move back to mainland and I'll, uh, we, we stopped doing it when I moved here because the time zones were gnarly. Also I had like the biggest workload of my life. So it just became right. unsustainable. Uh, but I do. I do like doing that with Dave, so I think I'll I'll go back to that at some point. Um, it's interesting. I trace a lot of my success back to individuals that I, you know, can't ascribe all of my success to, but they definitely acted as a lightning rod or a fork. Don't wait. Yeah, I, guys I, like I, I my, really buddy, my buddy Roger Jackson or Lee Huffman and people that aren't big. Just the person I ran into that would give me their time, and I was like, "Hey, I need help," and they're like, "Yeah, here's everything." Yeah. And then you're it's like, cool. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. That's why I do this, dude. I've been doing this for like five years, just like giving up a Calendly link because I know that the overwhelming majority of my success, um, the fulfillment that I've gotten from my life and the, the crazy things that I've been able to experience are because of some stranger who gave me their time, whether it's Matt Faircloth, who gave me a lot of time that bought me my multifamily or Dave, who let me, you know, be part of that podcast or Lee, who, you know, just Roderick. When I met Roderick, he had 20 properties and they were all paid off. And he's like, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. And before three years, I had like 80 doors and he didn't want anything from me. He didn't charge me anything. He just, yeah, you seem like you're going to do this. Let's go. Let me help. And so now I'm like, I don't sell any courses. I don't sell any coaching. I don't want to be the, that person. I don't have a platform i'm just i want to be somebody's life changing fork stranger i love it and that's why you have this right here that's exactly <laughs> why i have this in fact this is the first time for i've been doing this for five years dude and this is the first time i finally had like it like hit me i was like i've been thinking for years i was like i need to make this i need to publish this not for like any real gain just be like what if you stumbled across this and it was like kind of like bigger pockets where it's like what if you just stumbled across some guy that was trying to help and found it useful and i'm like i'm doing it anyway and nobody cares if, if it's like hey, hey it's gonna go on youtube they're like okay we don't give a shit i mean you're yes it's uh if i saw a video of myself i would definitely watch it <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean by that uh it's just my i i, I you know i'm the center of my own universe uh i i'm i'm after 45 years of believing that I was not the main character of my story, I now firmly believe that I, I am 100% the main character of my story. 
tell me more about that. That's so interesting because the older I get, I kind of, I would have described the opposite. I, I can't be there for my family and for everybody else if I'm not 100% all in on Michael. I, I've gotten to the point where I've, I've recognized that um, me at 100% is like an awesome thing. And I believe you, me, the difference between my 75, 85, and 90% and my 100% is like a chasm, right? The, 90, the 85 to 90, and then the 90 to 100 is astronomical. So wow. for me, if I don't invest entirely in myself so that I'm fully maxed, like to capacity, not to overflowing, right? Because I did that in the past and it landed me in the hospital. But then I can truly like give the best version of myself to others, right? You know, that's the best, best way I can put it um, here right now. Yeah, I love that. I actually, yeah, I love that. I feel like I'm kind of the opposite. I feel like I, I, I'm a, I don't have kids. So I feel like I've spent a lot of years being selfish, not like maliciously, accidentally. Like if you didn't have kids, who, you know, who else would you focus on but, but making yourself happy? And now that I don't have that, I'm like, oh, I spent too much time on myself. So for me, it's kind of the opposite where I'm like, I'm fine. In fact, what's actually really interesting is my cup is filled when I spend time talking to people. So I'm like curing both problems right now. I'm like, I get to help other people and then that helps me. It's the talking cure. It's like Freud 101. Yeah. Well, I'm very, I'm very, I'm a verbal communicator. I'm a verbal thinker and I'm a hyper, hyper extrovert. So I'm like, I would love a, a future where like all I had to do was spend probably, I could probably do, I could probably do three hours a day of this, six calls every single day, seven days a week. Have you forever. considered charging? Like what, I mean, or how is, how do you monetize that? Is that a, mo a YouTube thing where you're like, all right, I'm just going to get, you um, know, boom, 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 boom. One day, one day, Michael Craghome, is that how you pronounce it? Yes, sir. Is going to come to me and be like, dude, you gave me some chat, some talk. You introduced me to some person. That's who I'm good at. You're going to be like, Hey, you introduced me to somebody. And they like, and you know, that changed my life or that helped or that maybe some money or, and like that, dude, that I'm kind of set. I'm not like super set, but like, I don't know. I, I live, no. I live very, very light. So for me, me, again, sure. just trying to pass that, that gift on is like pay, payment. Uh, I'd love to have friends. I mean, <laughs> the more friends I can have, which, which I, I I'm collecting all the time. Also, I mean, if you want to talk about it very tactically, what are the odds? What is the chances? Zero to a hundred that you one day call me and you're like, Hey, I got a deal I need help with and I can help you and we make money together. A hundred percent. Is that a possibility? Yes. It's very, very, very high possibility. That'll pay for this time that I enjoy. That's the other thing. I'm like, well, how do you monetize this thing that you enjoy? And I'm like, it kind of reminds me of that story. Like, um, the guy goes on vacation, the white guy goes on vacation with his family and he goes to the third world, he goes to Mexico or whatever, and he, he's sitting on a dock and there's a mm -hmm. guy fishing. You know the story? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And he's like, yes, why don't sir. you fucking build a build a, a a fishing company so you can like make a pot load of money and then sit on the dock like, and fish? Like, yeah. It's like, what are you doing? And so like when people ask me that, and I haven't done anything with it, I, I'm just, just, just now starting to like, publish these and make them like nice and, and put them all out there. But I've been doing it for years, but there's a few things in my life. Actually only two of, I can think of where I'm like, I don't care what the world knows of. I, I do it because I find it to be incredibly fulfilling in and of itself. So yeah. anyway, it sounds very rant. much like an altruistic movement. I wouldn't call that a rant at all. I, I would say that's like a genuine, like heartfelt expression where you're like, gee, I have this, you know, like we all believe, we're going to be dead for a long time. So we might as well uh, use this opportunity we have. If you have a gift and you believe that sharing it right now is that time, then yes, you know, for me, I know that I'm sitting on a couple things that while they might monetarily be really cool, uh, I'm finding so much more fulfillment in teaching like jujitsu. Um, that has been rad. I started America's first mobile jujitsu dojo. So I have no location. I'm entirely mobile and I'm, I'm the low overhead dojo. 
literally it cost me less than $1,500 for the whole year. <clears throat> and I'm already in the black at like way less than 90 days. So <laughs> what's up? I see you smiling. You're, yeah. It's interesting because I was at dinner with David Dream like the week after I had this idea. And I went to Boston specifically because I was like, I wonder if I, I'm going to float this idea to some of these cats like Nick and, and Dave and Shane. And sure enough, when I said, I started a mobile jujitsu company, like jujitsu came up with the dinner table. And then he, he literally looked at me and it just was like a waterfall. He immediately understood exactly what I offered. And, and I think he said something the effect of like, if you live near me, I would be one of your customers or one of your students. And I was Who's like, that? Oh. that was uh, David Green. David Green. That yeah. motherfucker so, needs you know, that motherfucker needs fitness. <laughs> he was, you know, he was because he's a couple stripe white belt. He's an old cop, and literally, he's got no time, and he doesn't want to get power bombed by little Timmy, right? So, who's a wrestler at Penn State? So that's where I come in, and literally, like you can see it, and it's that's why I don't even have to. If you see my content online, it's kind of silly to be completely honest, and I'm not selling like the the idea of mobile jujitsu. It's the fact that people they crave a relationship with somebody that has something that they don't have, or maybe they're like, ah, oh, I hear about this thing called jujitsu. I don't understand why rubbing against another man is going to make me feel better. You know, uh, oh, I'm sure as shit. It does. You know, it's like, well, it's called oxytocin, you know, serotonin, this thing called hugging, and it's interesting. And it's, you're fighting another man. And it just kind of like goes and goes. So that's, so coming back to what we we're talking about is I, I knew that that was kind of like another pivotal moment. When I went out there and I just tossed it out there and he boom. And I was like, all right, cool. And that's when I came back here and I went all in. I'd like literally, I still get a deed and like, uh, fucking, um, uh, dad on, um, you know, LinkedIn job alert or senior project manager at Buttstock Corporation, you know, and I'm just like, you know, I'm so gone, man. Like gone. Like the moment I got a taste of this on the moment somebody paid me fifteen hundred dollars in cash to teach him jujitsu, I was like, I mean, I've done it. Done. This is my jujitsu. Hell yeah. That's damn my thing's freaking rad. That's gotta be what getting... sixteen I got that's me. Um Yeah, it's amazing when you find like your thing. And you're like, wait, you fucking pay me for this? Yes. Well, that's, and that's when you say, you're like, how do you monetize this? And I'm like, talking to people? I wouldn't, I, why? We, I, I don't, I'm not that. I'm the, I'd say oftentimes people be like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm the luckiest guy on earth. And I believe yeah. that. I don't think I'm, I don't think I could be that lucky that I could get people to pay me just to chat with me when I would, I'm like, why would you do this? I would do it for free every day. <laughs> you know, and like you said, it's the, it's the back end stuff. You're 100 percent right. It's your compounding good karma in the future by doing good things for other people. Hey, give you some time, launch a couple ideas off each other, blah blah. Because you're gonna see me. I think uh, I'm not going to Colorado, but next thing here in Florida, I'm certain to go uh, to. Um, where do you? Uh, where there's do you live? always. I live in Melbourne Beach, about an hour and a half from Orlando. Which way? On the east coast, towards Cape Canaveral. So. Ah. I'm gonna I be in. The I think I'll be in Sarasota this week. Uh, this uh, excuse me, this year. Oh, that's when. Uh, that's where um, ODB uh, Steve Odebrowski and his girlfriend Nicole Zeitsch live. Uh, they're in the war room, or he's in the war room. So he's a good dude. He was just here the other day. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, I live on the Space Coast, so I watch like like one of my uh, lives today was. So one of them, you know, I'm like, oh, you got to go live. I'm like, cool. What the fuck am I going to do? So I just go live anytime that's totally unique to the Space Coast. I literally like walk outside of my front door here and I film the uh, rocket launches that go up to the outer space. And so love that. Yeah, that's kind of my, you know, so my brand, it's like Jiu-Jitsu Central, you know, veteran-ish, uh, maybe some Muay Thai, but it's got to be Space Coast related, rockets, anything kind of ish. But um, I'm really trying to align myself with a few companies. Origin USA is a really good company that I like a lot. And then Jocko Fuel is a um, supplement company that I use a lot and I love them. And so uh, I'm just trying to build small little affiliations so that, you know, keep making base hits. I, I really feel like uh, my bases are loaded right, right now, to be honest, man. I, I feel like I'm, 
wild. And there's a couple things that I'm going to swing hard at in the next six months that uh, if I do it right, if I do it right, I'm certain. No, no, even if I fuck it up, uh, it'll, I'll, I'll still win because it's, I'm, I'm confident that whatever I do, it's going to end up well. Dude, your fucking energy is contagious. So, <laughs> well, thanks, man. There's not that much of that running around. So, like that, that, that's a big, that's a selling. You know, people they know it, they know it in here, just like they know how to diet in here. But uh-huh. they don't wake up in the morning with a good ass attitude, and then what happens is it costs them, and they're like, "How come?" And I'm like, "Well, let me tell you something. The number one thing you're always selling is, you know, the kids call it a vibe. Yeah, but." You know, I call it an attitude. If you wake up and you're like, yo, I'm just excited about life, optimistic, positive, let's go, you know, charismatic, you're feeling um, confident, like everybody wants that. Mm-hmm. Everybody is buying that. And so they're like, yo, jujitsu and optimism, let's go. But if you're, right. uh, you know, if you're, if you're, yeah, everybody yeah. Is buying, everybody's, buying, everybody's buying confidence. Everybody's Actually, buying confidence. Yeah. Everybody wants to. I have a theory, actually, that confidence is the most valuable. You know, they say uh, this old, this old like, you know, time's worth more than money sort of argument. Uh-huh. Like, oh, because you don't have time. I think I say to my people all the time, I was like, actually, the most valuable resource, it's not time. Actually, it's confidence. I think it's the most okay. valuable resource in the human world because you can have, you could, you could live forever and not get anything done if you got a badass <laughs> attitude. True. And... And if you got a good attitude, a lot like of, that. I know a lot of people like that, negative people. Or how about just middle of the ground? Just like, yeah, it's okay. It's a good day. But if you're somebody who's like, dude, I'm lucky to be alive. I got a great opportunity in front of me. I'm going to go tackle it like like the world has never seen. And I'm excited about it. And I'm going to everybody, I'm, I want everybody to be included. Right. And you just run around every day, day in and out. Like you're going to get a lot done. And it's not because the amount of time you have, you can actually compress time because you got a good ass attitude. So I think Man, confidence is like the most, truth. yeah, I think confidence is the most valuable resource. And I think, and I feel it from you right now. So Thank I don't know you. what you got going on in six months, but somebody's going to, people are going to want to buy it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, do you remember that old movie with John Cusack called Better Off Dead? It was an old movie. It was a high school movie and they, it's a skiing thing. Anyways, he works in this shitty porky thing and there's an animated, a claymation animation when he of uh it's van halen a hamburger a cheeseburger singing everybody wants some and he's like everybody wants some who wants some too and then all of a sudden it pans to john cusack and he's like losing his shit you know and the guy and then the guy fires him because he's, he's so, so in the moment right you know that kind of kind of gives me a little vibe right because yeah i would say that i'm i'm pretty grounded like i know where my two feet are right now but i'm not going to say that yeah, how shit man as an entrepreneur who else is going to do this stuff for me like i have to be currently in the present it's like management versus leadership right like leadership is like who they eat like that vision management is processes systems people fires right that she just woke up to that's what man and those both have a nice little dance that kind of if you can understand the followership and leadership have this symbiosis then somebody like myself, I believe, can take an idea that came in my head, like mobile jujitsu. Uh, okay, uh, I just got my 50th rejection letter from L3 Harris for some shitty job that I could do really good at. So, and I literally just went home and cr- created a stream of income that previously did not exist in the world. So that was creator. Kind of cool. Yeah, creator, bro. I got called the disruptor the other day, and I was like. Is that a good thing? And the guy was like, yeah, it's a great thing. And I'm like, what am I disrupting? I was like, all right, cool. Disruptor. (laughs) Travis Hill called me a pioneer. And I was like, fuck yeah. I'm putting that shit on my freaking LinkedIn. (laughs) Let all these retired generals freaking see that. I want to go freaking. Uh, Don't get me started. I'm sorry. I love Travis Hill. He's a good dude. He, he, He was one of the first dudes that was like, get over here when I got to Tampa. You know, because I got this kind of energy, and it, you know, it'll, I'll never get rid of it, right? That's, that's why I smoke a little bit, because I need to bring myself down, you know? Uh, but he was cool. He put his arm around me, and, like, yeah, I would chat because he was a jiu-jitsu guy, and um, that was cool. Uh, anything I can do to help? I mean, I don't know anything about jiu-jitsu. I've never done it. It's not my 
thing. It doesn't sound like you need any capital, but anything you can do to help? Um, you know, answer my second message in 60 days when I say hi, which I'm certain you would do regardless if with me had this conversation or not, man. So that, that really is the main thing is just, you know, thank you. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, let's see. Uh, I'd love to get this link out there more. I'd love to talk to more people. So share it wherever I'm going to make it. I finally am getting ready like to make it public to the whole world. Um, I used to do that. It was just on my blog, but now I think I'm going to, you know, really kind of go harder with it. Um, so yeah, I just, if you think that somebody can help from a, just a friend conversation, whatever they need, you know, we'd love that. Um, always looking for passive investors for deals. So, uh, you know, I'm in, included in some interested, uh, in, interesting deals in the East coast right now. Uh, so always looking for that, but I mean, honestly, just, I just like staying on top of mind. You know, if you know somebody that is like, um, that you think I can help, I just want you to be like Alex. Okay. And, um, thank you for the class on how to properly answer the question. How can I help you? How did I, wait, 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 that was, that was great. Cause I'm freaking, what did I do? I'm not, I'm, oh man, you, you, you literally, I was like, you know, I, I, you, 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 now what you did is you make me, you made me want to help you. Like I kind of, I'm like mentally like making notes, like to, to get back oh. in touch with you. You basically, yeah. So, you so let, let, me tell, let me tell you a mistake. Thing. Yeah. Let me tell you a mistake that people make myself included. Yeah. Um, if you tell people you don't need anything, then they will give you what you ask for. Okay. Damn. Okay. If you, if you ask, like just, if you ask the people, what, if, you, if, if you tell people you don't need anything, they will give you what you ask for. Okay. They will or give oh, you... here's a better succinct way to say it. If somebody yeah. asks you what you need and you say nothing, you will get it 100% of the time. He get it. So it's not necessarily that I, it's not necessarily I need or want anything, but right. you know, like, I always want to give somebody some way to help because people want to help. Bro, it's just odd for me to hear somebody in a position, uh, you know, that's not like higher, but right, like you're, you're a connector. You're, I'm on your thing right now to be like, after I'm like, uh, I, I, I don't need any help. And then you're like, so that to me was like, okay, Michael, this is the, that the lack of promotion ability for myself where I need to be a little bit more like, it, yeah, we, it, it doesn't have to be kitschy for me, right? That's that's what I'm concerned about is coming off inauthentic, but I can actually be more authentic by saying, "Yeah, share my shit." Yeah, let's yeah let's do that exercise. By the way, I always have a weapon in my hand when I when I call uh when right. I call. Um, let's do that exercise again. When you say when I say like, "Hey, how can I help?" Okay, that's a better question. What do you what, what's your business like right now? I know it's mobile jujitsu. Like, how do you get customers? I'm currently advertising on Instagram almost exclusively and word of mouth. Mm -hmm. In Southern Florida or and, Eastern Florida? Yes, in, uh, in the in the central eastern coast of uh, Florida. Along the How are you collecting? Um, so, okay, right out of the gate, all you would say is, all, if I were you, right? If we did the exercise again and you were being genuine, not mm -hmm. needy, not like wanty, not selfish, just like, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. I need customers. Alex, mm -hmm. how do I get customers for my, for my jujitsu jiu jiu company, right? So the first question I would right. say is like, well, how, how are you marketing to them now? Instagram? Word of mouth. Okay. New, do you do email? Email campaigns? I haven't started that yet. Go high level? Do you have a CRM? I do not, but I have some... Uh -huh. Interesting. I was going to ask you about this, but we've had such a great conversation. I totally forgot. And I'm literally uh, in 25 um, that I had a meeting with a kid from UK. He was offering me some jujitsu specific white labeled app for CRM change. Uh, I was wondering, first of all, people on LinkedIn, is it dangerous to even consider like installing an app for some kid and everything looks copacetic and everything's good? Or is it like, you know, would you never just randomly like, uh, I don't know. I, what's, that was what's the I company? What's the, what's the app? It's called Webwise. Um, I've never heard of it. That's not a good sign. No, no I haven't. They're, they're, these kids are 18 and 17. They dropped out of high school in the UK so they could start this business. And so webwise.com, <laughs> they don't even have a, they don't even have a website. Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. I would hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. Um, I would. If you're, I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Sorry, dude. So I, I live in a, I live in a, I live in a, uh, an fight. office of pure chaos, and I love it. Um, I got lots of these. I got lots of guns laying around. Hell um, yeah. uh, I would talk to Tyler Goble. Do you know Tyler? Man, I talked to him last night, and I literally, I literally, he's one of my favorite guys because he's an infantry officer like me, and he's a wrestler like me. But he's not. He's smart, unlike me. Yeah, he's a fucking so. nerd. So here's what I would do. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a judgment call on on the UK kids. I'm not gonna make a judgment call on that because right. I don't know them. But I know. Yeah. Um, I know. I just went down a giant rabbit hole with Tyler about go high level, and I did not hire Tyler, right? Because he's not in a position to for me to hire him yet. But I did. He did sell me on go high level. I paid another woman who probably is not the right fit for you because she does for capital raisers, but. Go high level is like the hotness right now. That's where everybody's moving. And I would I would go down that rabbit hole a little bit if I were you. And I would maybe ask around and be like, who can you get me to develop for, you know, a couple grand website, email, drip campaigns, newsletters, forums. Like you can do a whole back end, like have a business, not that much money per month. Right. But now you have like a business infrastructure that you can remarket to customers, potential customers. And that way you can have like a sales machine going. Um, okay. I mean, I, just something I, to think um, about. I, I appreciate that. And, I, I, and cut me off when you got to go. Uh, Space Coast Mobile Jiu-Jitsu is my bid at innovation. So I have some other ideas that I'm going to take to market here probably in the next six months to a year that I am using this business that I've built as my credibility for my status that I'm going to put forward as an innovator, right? Somebody who's creating, who can, you know, think outside the box. And that, that is why I'm capping myself at 20 clients because honestly, brother wrestling, the people, so the seven people that I have right now that are paying me a hundred to $150 per session are like pretty in shape dudes that are finding themselves. Come here, Gordon. I'm sorry, my dog Gordon Ryan's losing his shit. Um, I, they're they're much they're much more in shape than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be older dudes with the, some weight to lose. No, they're like 33, 36, 34, 46, 51, 61, and another guy in his 40s, and they're all like pretty good shape, right? So I'm wrestling these dudes pretty, good, and I'm giving them like the secret sauce, and they're getting good fast. So. Okay. I'm going to chop out at 20 and what that's, so I'm kind of selective. That's why I'm not trying to move too fast because my back went out the other day and I'm like managing all these, do you see where I'm going? Okay. Okay. I thought, yeah, that's why I asked, like, this is where it's really important to know what you need because if I, if you're like, Alex, any more customers, I'm like, okay, maybe you don't need any more customers. So like, I don't know. Why don't you hit me back in like a week with an email and just be like, this is what I need. And then okay, I'm a super connector and that way you can have some time to think about it. Just tell me what you actually want to accomplish and where the obstacles are. And if I can help, I, I can help. And you know what else, dude? Here's the great part about if I can't, I'll tell you I can't. And I'm not going to carry any guilt yeah. about it. So it's like Hell win-win. No. It's no lose. And that's so cool. That literally, that's what I'm trying to do. I'll, that's what I'm trying yeah. to do with these other companies. Win-win-win. So, yeah. um, all so, right, brother. Here, I'm going to stop the recording. Hang on one second. Let it finish uploading. But breaks talk to you.